What is biodiversity? Biodiversity means the variety of living things, plants and animals, found in a particular region. It includes all types of life, from tiny insects to large trees and animals. Diversity in plants. Plants vary in height, short, medium, tall. Stem type, soft, green, hard, brown, thin, thick. Leaf shape and arrangement, different sizes, shapes, and vein patterns, venation. Flowers, different colors, shapes, and scents. Types of plants. Herbs. Small plants with soft green stems, e.g. tomato. Shrubs. Medium-sized with hard stems and branches near the ground, e.g. rose. Trees. Tall with thick, woody stems and branches high up, e.g. mango. Leaf venation. Reticulate venation. Net-like veins, e.g. hibiscus. Parallel venation. Veins run parallel, e.g. banana. Types of roots. Taproot. One main root with smaller branches, e.g. mustard. Fibrous root. Thin roots from the base of the stem, e.g. grass. Dacot seeds. Two cotyledons. Taproot. Reticulate venation, e.g. chickpea. Monocot seeds. One cotyledon. Fibrous roots. Parallel venation, e.g. maize. Cat, land, water, or both. Food habits, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. Movement, walk, fly, swim, crawl, jump. Leg body parts for movement. Legs, goat, ant, wings, pigeon, fins, fish. Plants and animals in different regions. Deserts, cactus, stores water, camel, long legs and one hump. Mountains, deodar trees, cone-shaped, mountain goats, short legs. Forests, lions, elephants, diverse plant species. Oceans, fish, whales, sea turtles. Adaptations. Special features that help living things survive in their habitat. Examples. Fins in fish, sloping branches in deodar trees, hump in camels. Habitat. The natural home of a plant or animal. Provides food, water, air, shelter. Types of habitats. Terrestrial, on land, forest, desert. Aquatic, in water, pond, ocean. Amphibians, live on land and in water, e.g. frog. Case 1. Here are two types of seeds. What differences do you find among the roots and leaf venation of their plants? A. Wheat. B. Kidney beans. Answer. Wheat is a monocot plant. It has fibrous roots and parallel venation in its leaves. Kidney beans are decot plants. They have taproots and reticulate venation in their leaves. Question 2. Names of some animals are given below. Group them based on their habitats. Write the names of aquatic animals in the area marked A and terrestrial animals in the area marked B. Enter the names of animals living in both habitats in part C. Horse, dolphin, frog, sheep, crocodile, squirrel, whale, earthworm, pigeon, tortoise. Answer. Animals. Horse, dolphin, frog, sheep, crocodile, squirrel, whale, earthworm, pigeon, tortoise. A. Aquatic, dolphin, whale, crocodile. B. Terrestrial, horse, sheep, squirrel, earthworm, pigeon. C. Both land and water, frog, tortoise. Question 3. Manu's mother maintains a kitchen garden. One day, she was digging out radish from the soil. She told Manu that radish is a kind of root. Examine a radish and write what type of root it is. What type of venation would you observe in the leaves of radish plant? Answer. Radish has a taproot. The leaves of radish show reticulate venation. Question 4. Look at the image of a mountain goat and a goat found in the plains. Point out the similarities and differences between them. What are the reasons for these differences? Answer. Mountain goat. Has shorter legs and strong hooves, adapted for climbing steep, rocky areas. Plain goat. Has longer legs, lives in flat, grassy regions. Reason. These differences help the goats survive better in their specific habitats, mountains or plains. Question 5. Group the following animals into two groups based on any feature other than those discussed in the chapter, cow, cockroach, pigeon, bat, tortoise, whale, fish, grasshopper, lizard. Answer. Animals. Cow, cockroach, pigeon, bat, tortoise, whale, fish, grasshopper, lizard. Grouping by ability to fly can fly, pigeon, bat. Cannot fly, cow, cockroach, tortoise, whale, fish, grasshopper, lizard. Question 6. 
As the population grows and people want more comfortable lives, forests are being cut down to meet various needs. How can this affect our surroundings? How do you think we can address this challenge? Answer. Effect. Cutting forests leads to the loss of biodiversity, pollution, climate change, and destruction of animal homes. Solution. We can plant more trees, reduce deforestation, recycle, and spread awareness to protect the environment. Question 7. Analyze the flowchart. What can be examples of A and B? Answer. A. Mango tree, rose plant, hibiscus, all have reticulate venation and taproots. B. Grass, wheat, banana, all have parallel venation and fibrous roots. Question 8. Raj argues with his friend Sanjay that, Gudal, hibiscus, plant is a shrub. What questions can Sanjay ask for clarification? Answer. Sanjay can ask. 1. What is the height of the Gudal plant? 2. Is the stem hard or soft? 3. From where do the branches grow, near the ground or higher up? 4. Does the plant have a woody stem? <laughs>What other similarities do plants of group A have? Answer. Plants of group A, dicots, generally have reticulate venation in their leaves, net-like pattern, broad leaves, two cotyledons in their seeds, slower and stronger root growth due to taproots. B. What other similarities do plants of group B have? Answer. Plants of group B, monocots, generally have parallel venation in their leaves, veins run side by side. Narrow and long leaves, one cotyledon in their seeds, fibrous roots that spread out and hold soil well. Question 10. Observe the labeled part of a duck in the picture given below. What differences do you observe in the feet of the duck compared to the other birds? Which activity would the duck be able to perform using this part? Answer. Difference. Ducks have webbed feet, while many birds like pigeons do not. Activity. Ducks use their webbed feet to swim easily in water. Checkmark chapter. Diversity in the living world. Questions answered. Graduation cap ideal for class 6 science revision loudspeaker. Don't forget to like thumbs up, share sent mail, and subscribe bell for more educational content.